Come on in. I'm going to show you what we do to the car after a race weekend and preparing for the next weekend. So we were just at VIR, as you guys all know. We're heading to Shannonville for a Lucky Dog event. So I'm gonna go over the car with you, what we had to do to it, bringing it back from a racing event and prepping for the next racing event. So we'll start at the front of the car. So up at the front, you can see in here, there's uh, an AccuSump underneath the bumper. So these cars are susceptible to losing oil pressure under right-hand corners. And we watched that in the data when we were at Virginia International Raceway. So we've installed an AccuSump that will help resolve that issue and supply pressure to the engine when the oil pressure drops. So we've done that this weekend. That's hiding in behind the bumper. Uh, a couple of the splitter rods had a couple marks on them and were damaged from a couple of offs. So we've replaced all those. We checked oil, changed the oil as well after a 16 hour event. Um, also, we checked the front brakes, rear brakes. We ended up putting new rotors on the front, uh, new pads on the rear. And then on the inside of the car, I'll show you what we're doing. So on the inside, we're just redoing some of the wiring. We're cleaning it up because we added a bunch of accessories or cameras, uh, voltage regulator for the PC that we have in it now. So we're just cleaning up some wiring. Uh, we now have a PC in the back corner here that is going to be connected to the cameras and that will tie in our live streaming to the data from the race capture and overlay it. So as you guys watch the videos, all the data and video is all synced up together. So you can watch us live and see when the braking zones are, acceleration, all the G-forces we're feeling. It'll be a really nice feature. So we're going to do this in the gas car and also in the SCR1 so you can see it all live. In the back, the back we have a lot going on in here. We've added a fuel cell um, to the back and as long as with an ECU Master PDU. Um, we found that the factory GR86 car, this gas tank is pretty small. It's only 45 liters, um, which is about 10 gallons. So not very much. It only lasted about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, depending on how hard in the car you were. So we've added an auxiliary tank in the back here in the spare tire well, another 10 and a half gallon tank. So we're having a PDU control when this tank fills the main tank. Um, that way when we're driving, we can be out for the two hour stint for Lucky Dog this weekend. AER wasn't too bad because it was only uh, an hour and 20 minutes that we came in. We had to have six drivers because we needed five mandatory stops. So it was about an hour and 20 minutes. So the factory fuel tank actually worked okay. But for Lucky Dog, we only have four drivers for an eight hour race. So two hours each time. We need this car to stay out there for two hours. So we've added an auxiliary fuel tank, adding a PDU. Uh, right now we're just mapping out uh, all the wires going to that. We're gonna have a big bulkhead connector back here. So we're gonna put all the accessories in the back here, our diff cooler, our surge tank pump, the auxiliary tank pump, the fans. We're adding some fans also to the sides here because uh, we found that the trunk actually got extremely hot. So we're gonna add some venting into the back here to keep some airflow going through it. Also now that we're filling a tank back here, it's just good to have ventilation when you have another tank on the inside of the, of the car. Let's come over to the driver's side and see what Grant's doing. So Grant here is setting up all the overlay data with the mini PC. Uh, like I said before, this is our gas car. Um, we'll also be doing the same setup in the SCR when we race it uh, in a couple weeks. And you'll see that. Also, the GPS antenna that we had was not super strong. So we've added a larger antenna on the back of the car for our cradle point uh, and for the uh, race capture GPS that we have stronger signals uh, to better supply a stream for the car. We will be taking the transmission out, just inspecting the clutch, making sure that's okay, changing all the fluids, um, diff, transmission, clutch, brake, basically refreshing the car because after 16 hours of hard driving, it pretty much needs to be all refreshed. Uh, and for the next race, we'll also do the same after that. So there is a lot of prep work that we do between races, especially when we're doing two eight hour races. There's a lot of load on this car and there's a lot of abuse that it takes and it takes quite a bit to refresh it for the next event. So thanks for checking it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on the YouTube channel where we're gonna have the race this weekend live streaming. Thanks for checking us out. I drew a blank. And yeah, we're just 